In Julius Caesar, our hero finds himself in some dangerous situations. At one point, he evades a treacherous plot to assassinate him and vows that he will be avenged. Lampo dell'Armi was written for the castrato singer, nicknamed Senesino, the little Sienese. He was tremendously popular with London audiences and sang all Handel's heroic roles in the 1720s. Nobody saw anything wrong in the practice of castrating boys to preserve their pure, high voices in adult life. As long as they were Italian, it wasn't something the British went in for. These days, the parts are sometimes sung by women dressed as men or by countertenors, male singers who have developed their falsetto voices. Castrati held the operatic stage from the late 16th century till the early 1800s. Napoleon's favourite singer was a castrato. There were castrati in the papal choir until 1870, and the last one survived long enough to make gramophone recordings. We have some idea from descriptions, first of all, what they look like, what they sounded like and how they behaved. We know that they tended to be very tall. This is because the information which told them to stop growing had been removed. They were testosterone-free. And so, on stage, they looked larger, literally larger than life. The people in the audience in London would, would also want to see these people they'd heard so much about the scurrilous behaviour of off stage, see them in the flesh, as it were, uh, reenacting or, or, or bringing to life the lives of, 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 of great heroes, but in, in ways of expression that only music can convey. And it was the sheer beauty of the voices or the combination of the different types of voices that Handel put together in these operas that was the sensation. <laughs> Oh, 